Hey YouTube, it's Danielle. Uh, I am coming to you six weeks post-op. It has been six weeks since I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy on December 5th, 2011 at Westchester Medical Center, New York. Um, not a whole lot going on this last week. Um, I think I'm in another stall. I, I don't know. I haven't really lost any weight this week. Um, got some inches lost, but uh, I'll get to that in a little while. Um, Ah, it's just been overwhelming. Um, just classes started again. Uh, back full swing with that. Um, I've, I've hurt my wrist. I don't really know what I've done with it. Um, but I went to pick up the phone at work today, and I, I couldn't hold the phone to my ear. Um, so my sister's wrapped it up for me. Hopefully it'll start to feel better. Um, so my sister Jessica is actually exploring options for weight loss surgery right now, too. Um, she's going to... I'm actually going with her tomorrow night to a seminar um, for her that she has to attend uh, with the same practice that I went to. Um, I'm kind of hoping that she'll get my surgeon that I was going to be having before he had his emergency surgery um, because he was a really great doctor and uh, as great as the doctors that I had were, I, I really wish um, I had still been able to have doctor call just because you know I, I was established and ready to go with him. Uh, so no weight loss. Um, I am at a total of about 43 pounds lost. Uh, it goes up between 43 and 45 pounds back and forth. Um, I have a visitor this week um, that I'm going to be blaming for my lack of weight loss. Uh, there's been some retention, water retention, which I guess is nice when, you know, I've been dealing with all these dehydration issues. I guess, I don't know. Um, water intake has been a little bit better. Um, uh, in another video I watch, um, I'll try to figure out a link that I can post. Um, I watch a blog of someone by the name of VSG Tanya 2011. And I've gotten a couple of really cool tips and advice from her. And I think she's about two and a half, three weeks ahead of me. Um, but one of the things that she said in her blog, um, it's winter here in New York and the air is very dry and cold. Uh, you know, and our skin is going through a lot right now. From A, I have incisions. B, I'm losing weight. Um, it's stretch mark city. Uh, so, now although I'm only 27, I don't really think I need anti-aging products just yet. Um, I bought this at the suggestion of Tanya. It is a deep penetrating penetrating moisture anti-aging body wash with jojoba butter and vitaniacin. Um, and I like it. I like it a lot. I've used it um, two mornings now in the shower and it really leaves my skin feeling hydrated afterwards. And anybody who's had dry skin knows what it means to get out of the shower and feel hydrated. Um, so that happens with this. Another thing I want to show you guys, um, I've shared with you all that I have PCOS and with that comes excess body hair, um, it can be on my legs, my armpit, you know, you know, just places it doesn't belong or, I mean, we, we're women, regardless of whether there's PCOS as uh, playing a factor or not, we don't like our body hair, we don't like shaving, I mean, we don't like the hair being there, but we're, we're bothered by having to do it constantly. Uh, I am an, becoming quite the avid QVC shopper, and they make this product here. Um, this is called Atria, and it is an at-home laser system. It's quite expensive. Um, with shipping and tax, it was about $440, I'll say, give or take a little bit. Um, I have used it once. You're supposed to use it once every two weeks, and I actually have a little spot I saved um, to treat so that I could show you guys on the video. Um, right here, there is a little sensor. So you turn it on by this button here, and it's on full battery, and... Uh, it, it right now it wants to test my skin because it only works on um, lighter skin tones, uh, and by lighter I mean, uh, you know, non African American skin tones. It can scar uh, that that skin color can leave scars. Um, so here we are. It's currently on a level one. You can hit different levels and it'll go all the way up to five. On my arms, I've used it on a three or a four. And then what you do is you just and you can see the little light as it works. Um, they suggest doing this every two weeks, and it's supposed to help with the excess hair. Um, 
again, um, you know, with PCOS, you kind of end up with some on your face. Now, this particular product is not approved in the USA um, for use above the neck. However, in Europe, it is. Um, and I have spoken to people in Europe who have used it um, on their problematic areas, and they've had good results with it. So, uh, again, I'm making conscious decisions not to follow um, orders. So I um, will be using it on those locations as well. Um, another great thing I found this week, and I'm not going to make a habit of it, um, my sister Jessica and I went to Big Lots uh, over the weekend while we had clothes in the dryer drying. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a shopper. I like walking up and down the aisles. I like browsing. Um, and this week, Gypsy, if she wants some. Um, they have a lot of Nutrisystem products on sale this week there. And this is a dollar bag. And because of things being mismarked on the shelf, um, a sign, I actually got a bunch of stuff for 50 cents a package. This is popcorn. I love popcorn. And um, this particular package, I can have this entire package. I can't eat it. But this package is a serving. Um, it has 140 calories. Now it has 16 carbs but 4 fiber. So you're supposed to subtract the fiber from the carbs. So it ends up being 12 carbs. And then protein of 4. Now again, I'm only able to eat like a handful at a time. And I'm really trying not to even have that. Because again, I'm only 6 weeks post-op. I know that my body is still healing from it. And I don't want popcorn kernels getting stuck in a healing you know, incision line on my stomach. So it really has been, you know, just a couple pieces here or there to suck on and get the flavor and sharing it with uh, Gypsy who's on the floor and getting ready to start crying for me. She's a very codependent puppy. Um, now I want to show you guys something else that's really cool. Bear with me while I adjust the camera. I got my tripod, so. This shirt is a goal shirt. I like it. I think it's feminine. It's girly. Um, I love the, the black lace. I love lace. Um, I like that it's fitted a little bit in here. And why is this a goal shirt? It's a 1X. That's why. Um, I bought this shirt for, I think, like 5 or $6 at Fashion Bug that day that uh, Elise and I went together and uh, I had to ask her to go get me some 1X shirts. Um, this is one of them. It did not fit me quite yet. I mean, I could button it, but the buttons were like bursting open and I didn't feel pretty in it. Um, and here I am, you know, this is what, a month later. I'm wearing it. I like it. It's feminine and girly and it's pretty. Um, I bought Saturday. Uh, I went with my aunt and my cousin, my cousin who had by bypass surgery the same day as my VSG. Um, we went to Marshall's and I bought my first pair of size 14 jeans. Um, I'm nowhere near ready to wear them yet, but they were Levi's. Uh, on clearance for ten dollars and they're short uh, I have to buy my jeans short because I have a I am short uh, I'm I'm barely 5'4 and uh, I have short legs um, but size 14s um, I've got 16s put up for when I hit that um, I'm wearing a 1x <laughs> never in a million years I mean two months ago I was wearing 4x's 3x and 4x tops and here I am sitting in front of you guys wearing a 1x and I know that that's just the beginning I mean I am still in the beginning of my weight loss surgery journey it's only six weeks um, I've hit this I, I believe I'm in the middle of my second stall but you know when I was in the stall the last time it was pure drudgery like it was just so frustrating every morning getting on the scale and then, you know, magically one morning I got on the scale and six pounds were gone. Now, I'm not saying I lost, you know, six pounds in the course of a day, but, you know, I, maybe I had skipped the day before. I don't know what happened. I just, six pounds were gone. And, you know, it continued down. Excuse me. Um, I, with the dehydration, I had to stop going to the gym um, because I didn't want to be sweating out what fluids I was getting in. Uh, but... I haven't gone back yet, and I'm really upset with myself for breaking that New Year's resolution. However, yeah, see my dirty clothes hamper. 
But I have that, and I've started using it again. Uh, and I'm using it lots more than, uh, when I say lots more, like I'm able to do much more on it than I was previously. You know, 15 minutes on that thing before my surgery, and I was huffing and puffing and panting, and it was not pretty. I was ready for my shower that, after that. Um, you know, now I can get on it for 15 minutes, and I've barely, like, broken a sweat. Um, I'm not really out of breath at all. As a matter of fact, I, uh, I bought a Kindle Fire to help me with um, schoolwork. And I sit on there playing this bubble game on the bike, and before I know it, 20, 25 minutes has gone by, and according to my fitness pal, it's like 250, 300 calories I've burned or something like that, depending on the speed I've gone at. Um, but I really, I mean, oh, you know, I have to share, um, uh, I call them blonde moments. Um, sorry to the blondes out there. I used to be a hairdresser. I know you're really not that color. Um... I was feeling really guilty with myself because I was craving fruits and vegetables so badly. Um, you know, I was, was I going out there and, you know, picking out on, you know, a celery? No. Um, but one night for dinner, my family had beets and I had a couple bites of beets and, um, I bought these bananas that are like this big. I mean, literally like the banana is that big. And, you know, I had one or two of them and I was feeling really guilty about it. Like, Wow, you, you just went through all this and you can't even follow the diet. And I, I really was fighting with myself emotionally about that. Well, this weekend, uh, while I was cleaning my room, I came across uh, my packet full of um, stuff from the doctor, and in it was my post-op diet plan. I could have started on fruits and vegetables two weeks ago. Now, I'm not supposed to eat certain things, like they don't want me eating lettuce because it can't be chewed to the consistency of baby food, um, watermelon, you know, certain, you have to use common sense. Um, but, like, the bananas, the beets, like, I can have those things now. And I could have had them two weeks ago, so all this time I've been beating myself up about it, and I could have been eating them anyway. Um, it was quite a frustrating moment for me. I am also at this moment faced with a uh, possibility of being able to go to Italy for, I don't know, a couple a couple days, not a week, but uh, definitely more than like three or four days, maybe four or five days. Um, my sister Elise right there now is there in Florence doing a semester abroad, and I've been toying around with tax return estimator calculators um, because I'm myself I'm a student this year. Uh, or rather for last year, I am expecting a bigger tax return than I normally would have gotten. And while she's staying there, it's kind of like a once in a lifetime opportunity because if I fly out there, you know, I only have to really pay for, worry about my flight and my passport. I don't have one currently. Um, you know, I, I have a place I can stay and let's face it, I don't need a lot of money for food. <laughs> Whatever she's having, I can have a couple bites and I'll be fine and take some protein powder with me and live off of that. Um, but it's always been a dream of mine to go to Italy and to Egypt. Um, and you're talking to someone who's never left the East Coast. So, uh, you know, I'm toying around with those thoughts in my head. And then at the same time, it's like, well, gee, that's, you know, a nice chunk of change. And you have all these special dietary needs now as far as, like, you know, the food we can eat. Not that we eat lots of it, but it's, you know, pasta is like 99 cents for a box that feeds my entire family you know, shrimp and, and fish and, and lean meats, like, it's expensive. Now, thankfully, it goes a long way with me, um, but that doesn't change the fact that it's, you know, it's expensive. Um, and clothes, clothes, you know, I'm dropping sizes quickly here. Uh, and I know, you know, people recommend not going out and going crazy each time you drop a size, but I have to say, it's hard. When you have been, you know, heavier for so long and, and you have the opportunity to go out and, and wear some of those things that you just, you know, your mouth is watered over when you see it on a coat hanger, you know, not going out and doing that is hard. Um, so I, I can only imagine what it's going to be like as I get smaller and smaller. Um, I do have a plan. I've scheduled my first uh, vacation of the year. This year I get two years paid vacation because I have worked in the where I work for three years now. 
uh, my first vacation I'm scheduled for the 30th of May weekend, and I'm planning to take, uh, I don't know, like $15, $20 of paycheck, and I get paid bi-weekly between now and then, um, just to save them in whatever size I'm in at that point. Um, where we live, where I, I live about an hour from Westchester County, which is a pretty uh, well-off, well-to-do place, and uh, my sister Jessica, I, I keep saying my sister in the name because I have three of them. There's Rachel, Elise, and Jessica. Um, you know, we're, we want to go down and uh, tear up the Westchester Goodwills and, and Salvation Armies because, you know, we've got some really nice things in those areas. Like, she's gone in there and she's seen, like, juicy pocketbooks at the Goodwill. You know, I don't care if they're knockoffs. I mean, I, I'm not a label ho by any means, but I'm not above knockoffs, trust me. Um, but to see those kinds of things and to know I can go down there and I don't know. So I'm going off and my mind is wandering, but uh, I'm faced with a couple decisions. Go to Italy once in a lifetime opportunity with my sister Elise or, you know, have money in the bank um, as a cushion and money for some clothes that I'll need and life. I don't know. My car will probably need... It's a brand new car still. It really shouldn't need anything, but I don't know. I really want to go to Italy. I really... I don't want to be the country bumpkin fat girl who doesn't go anywhere. I'm becoming a new me, and that me wants to let the world see who she is. And she wants to be ready to see the world. And uh, I wouldn't really be planning to go until, like, April because of the weather. Uh, I want to go when it's nicer weather. I hate winter, especially since surgery. But I don't know. I guess time will tell what your heart wants and what your brain wants and everything just feuds, feuds with each other. The question I have for you guys, uh, as I've started losing weight and I've really started noticing it, I keep having these thoughts about ex-boyfriends, like, oh, I wish they could see me now, or, oh, you know, I wonder what he would, you just, uh, wanting to rub it in, you know, I had a, a, a boyfriend that I was really in love with, and, uh, turns out I was the mistress the whole time, whatever, he had someone else he'd been seeing for years, and we had only been seeing each other for a couple months, but I was really ready to give up my life for him. Afterwards, I found out that he had called me a moped, um, which I guess is something that uh, is a term used amongst other guys to refer to something fun to ride, but not something you let your friends see you with. I don't know what he thinks he was riding, but I can't wait for him to see me in a year. I don't know how I'm going to manage it because he and I haven't spoken in like three years. Um, but he's going to see me, and he's going to see the caterpillar um, in butterfly form. And I wonder, in this process, how many more moments like that I'm going to think of. How many more hurts are going to come to the front, and am I going to become vengeful? I don't know if that's the right word. Like, am I going to let it go? Am I just ever going to be happy and not care what other people think about me? I don't know. You know, we all say it. We all say we don't care. Oh, I don't care what they think about me. It's a lie. We care. We want to be liked. We want to be loved. We want to be envied. We want to be thought about. You know, we want every... We want it all. We're humans. You know, we want it all. I don't know. This video just did not start out... I didn't end up how I, I wanted it, but I'm going to post it anyway because it's real. These are things that are going on in my life right now and thoughts that I'm having and struggles and issues and, and excitements and joys. Um, you know, this that's what this is about. This is about my life and, and, and what goes on in my life while I'm going through such changes. Um, so good luck to you guys and I hope you all, you know, have success this week. Um, I have a phone call, so I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great week. Oh, um, my six-week checkup is Wednesday, so I'll make another video Wednesday night to let you guys know how that goes. Bye.